hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm just doing my everyday look and first i'm starting off this feeling good um it's like a retinol cream and i find it just makes my face super hydrated and super soft and a really good base to start my foundation next i'm going in with my under eye cream i can't remember the name of this i'm not with my product right now as i'm doing my voiceover but it just hydrates my under eyes and makes them look nice and supple so when i put all of my creams or my concealers on and my powders my skin doesn't look too dry i'm just noticing now how bad my spray tan is but anyways we're going in with the elf putty primer and i absolutely love this it fills in my pores and it makes my makeup last a lot longer and it goes really well with the fit me foundation and yeah i'm just kind of blending out everything right now having some of my tim's coffee and i absolutely love this uh, 220 fit me foundation this is in the matte formula and I love this foundation it was six dollars at shoppers and I always buy these in a few different shades just so I can mix them when I'm darker or when I'm lighter but I find this color matches perfectly after two days or so of spray tan and I have a darker one as well um, but oh my I didn't realize my hands looked so horrible so I apologize but yeah I'm just rubbing this all in making sure it's all blended and I always go um, down my neck as well just to blend it in with my spray tan because I don't spray tan my face. I just find it clogs my pores. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I believe this is in the neutral beige. And now I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending everything out. And normally if you wet it, this is a little easier, but I did it dry. And now I'm going in with that same sponge and just dipping it in my Laura Mercy translucent setting powder and just putting that on my under eyes. And now I'm going with the medium MAC uh, powder. It's a pressed powder and just putting that all over my face. Here I'm using my favorite bronzer of all time. It's Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And it is in the color Deep Bronze. And this, you guys, is such a nice bronzer. And it smells like a summer day. I have repurchased this about four or five times now. And hit pan every single time. And it's just beautiful on everybody. They also have this in a lighter shade too if you're fair skin. So you can go with that shade. But I find this shade is good for light to medium. And if you're dark toned as well, it's kind of like a nice just bronzing powder but I use this for contouring now I'm going in with the soft glow highlighter by Mario and this has been my favorite highlighter since I purchased it about a month ago and I am already hitting pan on it because I use it every day and I also use it on my best friends but yeah I just put it on my the center of my nose um, the cupid's bow my chin and I also put it on the high points of my eyebrows and obviously on um, the tops of my cheeks now I'm going in with my favorite blush. This is by Too Faced. It's called Sweetheart's Perfect Flush Blush. And I just find this is the perfect color for my skin tone. I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a mixture of peach and pink. And now I'm going in with my favorite color, Snow Way Bay by, uh, yeah, it's the Kylie Jenner lip kit and I find this stuff is a tad drying but I absolutely love the color and it also came with a lip liner that's similar but it, the lip liner itself is kind of creamy so I find it doesn't stay as well as the MAC but it's a very beautiful color and now I'm going in with my new bronzer this is by I well uh, L Y S and um, it's the No Limits Matte Bronzer and I've been loving the look of this just in my crease and I just put it all over there and then I'll put it down below as well just to kind of smoke things out in a lot of days I'll just wear this on its own because it is it's just gorgeous and this can also be used as a bronzer as well 
and now i'm just going in with my black eyeliner and uh it's the annabelle uh, 73 black it's not my favorite but it's all i had and this is my favorite liquid liner for doing a wing this is the stila double-sided one it's um the stay all day liquid liner and it has the skinny end as well as the thick end and i i love both of them it's my absolute favorite and now I'm going in with just my brush just to brush out my eyebrows before I go in with my Anastasia dip brow. And this is in the color taupe. So this is for blondes and medium browns. And I'm just kind of filling in the bottom. I always go start at the bottom, draw a line, and then I do the top and just kind of start filling everything in. I don't, I'm not too heavy handed with this, but I do like to bring my arch up slightly just to give that lifted effect. And uh, yeah, I just kind of pull the product through as you can see here. And I find the right side's a little easier than the left, but yeah, if I'm a little too heavy handed, I will just go back in with the spoolie, which I'm doing here, just brush out the brows. It just kind of makes it look a little bit more natural, natural and also blocky. And here I'm just using the Morphe uh, setting mist and I actually really love this. I got the mini size to start with, but it's beautiful. Anyways, this is the finished look guys. I hope you really like it. Um, this is really easy and fast to do and I actually wear this almost every day. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.